Hello again. Remember Jeff Tracy, Brains and Lady Penelope? It's been 50 years, 50 years since the first episode of Thunderbirds captured the imagination of viewers around the world. Well, as Libby Middlebrook discovers, thanks to our own Sir Richard Taylor, Thunderbirds are go once again. Five, four... It was the countdown to the hottest show on television. One... Thunderbirds are go. Old-fashioned string puppets transformed into sci-fi action heroes. My earliest memories was this wonderful, unique model-made world opening up in front of me. At the time, I didn't actually even appreciate that the puppets weren't humans. I, I completely connected with them. And from the moment Sir Richard Taylor first saw the Thunderbirds, he was hooked. The magic of the models took over, and that's really been a lifelong fascination. Turning his boyhood obsession... Nyla Dixon and Richard Taylor for The Lord of the Rings... ...into a world-class career in special effects. Yes, uh, it plays a big part in what inspired me. The love of uh, being able to create fantastical worlds from uh, models. In fact, there is a lemon squeezer right there in the front nose cone of this particular spaceship. But he never imagined that his production company... International Rescue, we have a situation. ...would be the one to help bring the Thunderbirds back to life. Thunderbirds are go! We long held the aspiration, but it, it was almost beyond uh, comprehension that the pieces could come together. It was almost 50 years ago to the day that Thunderbirds first launched onto our screens. Thunderbirds, when it came out, was definitely the most cutting-edge television at the time. Super Marionation is a new dimension in adult entertainment, and the actors start here in the puppet workshop. Can you hear us? We picked up your emergency call. Here I go. The heroes were the Tracy brothers, puppets in a miniature model world battling evil. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. And captivating children with their daredevil rescues. You know, they... They selflessly go out every day risking their lives. We made it, the Bank of England. Let's in the pursuit of people's preservation. And that humble quality and that uh, just very decent way, I guess, uh, touched something with me. I just can't tell you how thrilled I am to be here, Jeff. The puppets smoked and they drank. Ain't you got my grub ready yet, Lil? <laughs> But back in the 60s, this was appointment family viewing. Get help. Kids TV today, I, I call it kids on crack television. There's this, this incredibly hyper quality. Everything is pinging, bouncing. In what way was the Thunderbirds different? The Thunderbirds had a sense of, of family, a sense of, uh, of endeavour, and you wanted to catch up with them every week. It was during Taylor's work on Lord of the Rings that he got the chance to meet the creator of Thunderbirds to ask if he could remake the show. I had the great fortune of meeting Jerry and got his blessing. It's taken 13 years to pull off, but the new rebooted version is now good to go. Homemade in Wellington by Pukeko Pictures, a company Taylor co-owns. We've strived very hard to keep the core DNA of the original show and obviously all the characters, for the most part, are the, uh, are the same characters that uh, were in the original. International Rescue. But there's a modern twist. There are no puppets in the show, not, not as we know it from the original show. How do you think die-hard fans are going to react? There is going to be a great deal of debate and a certain level of disappointment that we have not been able to do an exact Xerox of the original show. We just couldn't have achieved the level of characterization and dynamic that we require for our audience today. The vehicles and all the characters are digital, younger too. 
Did you really have to dump the punch bowl on the ambassador's lap, Parker? Lady Penelope, more like a crime-fighting pop star than a 1960s aristocrat. <laughs> Just John sending me a selfie. Yet the model backdrops remain just as they were 50 years ago. So what are we looking at? Well, yeah. this, is, uh, this is Lady Penelope's house. It's crafted from wood, plaster and polystyrene by designers from Weta Workshop. Pretty accurate representation of the original from the show. Yeah. Much bigger than what they used, but uh, cool though. Very cool. And so how many hours of work goes into making something like this? Oh, this is, this is a crazy amount of hours, like right. hundreds of hours. More than 800 trees handmade for this Tracy Island model alone. Do you think a 50-year-old series will resonate with today's kids? That is a very, very big question, and only time will now tell. Thunderbirds are go! Pooh Kekos produced 26 new episodes, a co-production with Britain's ITV. There's very little time on this one. FAB. Hoping kids will find it as FAB as they did half a century ago. Thunderbirds are go! Oh man, didn't you love that set? Thunderbirds will screen on TV2 in a couple of weeks. Well